right, let's take this question. Find a derivative of x cubed plus y cubed is equal to s cubed y cubed minus 1. Okay, we are asked to differentiate this function with respect to s. You know, this is implicit function. Okay, so now let's see how we're going to do it. Now we have differentiating this function with respect to x. We are going to have the derivative of s cubed is going to give us 3s squared. Now we have plus. The derivative of y cubed is going to give us 3y squared dy all over the x. Okay? Exactly. Yes. Now let's go. We have equal to. You know, we have s cubed y squared. This is uh two variables and they are joined together by multiplication so we are going to apply product rule here we are going to apply what product rule now let's go uh the derivative of s cube is going to give us what 3s squared then times y squared hello then plus the derivative of y squared will give you 2y <coughs> 2y dy dx then times s cube hello now the derivative of minus 1 will give us 0 now let's go we are having 3s squared plus 3y squared dy all over dx is equal to 3s squared y squared plus s cube 2y dy all over dx from here let's rearrange them let's collect like terms the ones that are having dy all over dx let them come to one side and then the rest of values let them be in the other side okay now let's go we're going to have 3y squared dy all over dx now let's take uh, s cube 2y dy all over the x to the other side. So y coming it will be minus s cube 2y dy all over the x. It's equal to we have 3s squared y squared. Now we have we take 3s squared to the other side to be minus 3x squared. Okay. Now from here let's factor out dy dx. Okay. Let's factor out dy all over the x. So in so doing, we are going to have dy all over the x. Let's open bracket. We have 3y squared minus s cube 2y. Okay. Now equal to the other side, we have 3s squared y squared minus 3s squared. So here, let's make dy all over the x the subject. So I'm going to make dy all over the x to stand alone. So in so doing, we're going to divide both sides. Are going to divide both sides by 3y squared minus s squared s cube 2y okay so let's go we're going to have the y over the x open bracket 3y squared minus s cube 2y divided by 3y squared minus s cube 2y is equal to we have 3s squared y squared minus 3s squared divided by 3y squared minus s cube 2y so therefore we're going to have dy all over the x is equal to 3s squared y squared minus 3s squared all over 3s squared minus s cube 2y from here in a numerator let's factor out 3s squared in a numerator, let's factor out what 3s squared because 3s squared is in common between both of them. So when we factor out 3s squared, we'll be left with y squared minus 1. Now all over, in a denominator, let's factor out y because y is common in both of them. So we're going to have y, open bracket, 3y minus 2x cubed. Okay? Good. Yes, finally, finally, the derivative of s cubed plus y cubed is equal to s cubed y square minus 1 with respect to x is going to give us dy all over the x is equal to 3s squared open bracket y square minus 1 all over y open bracket 3y minus 2x cubed.
all right thank you very much for watching let's take more examples for easy understanding okay